together. You are used to seeing Chris more on these videos. He jumps on here all the time, loves to talk. He knows how I love not to talk on the videos. But I am gonna show you a quick sauce recipe this morning uh, featuring some of our tomatoes from actually the summertime. And um, this is just an example. If you are a member of our CSA page or our farm, you get exclusive, you know, what can I say? Exclusive videos that are on our CSA member page only. So it's just for members. Um, so we're gonna do a quick, easy tomato sauce with some tomatoes that we had left over from this um, summer. Uh, typically, I would use about five large field tomatoes. I've actually frozen these, just throw them in a bag. Like we had so many tomatoes left over, we just started throwing them in freezer bags, stick them in the freezer, they're good to go. And then I'm gonna um, run some hot water over this one just to show you how easy the skins come off. And I'm demonstrating this large tomato because the skin, it'll just be a lot easier for you to see. You can use any size you like. This is just for demonstration only. So see, good to go. You can, you know, take that stem right off and this is ready to go. I usually use about uh, five to six of the large tomatoes, but for this cooking demo, I'm gonna put that to the side just for a second. We're gonna actually use these glacier field tomatoes. So I have an equivalent about five to six in this bowl and we're gonna use those because we just have so many left on the farm. Um, so just to show you what an equivalent would be, it's about three quarters of a freezer bag. All right, so first thing though, before we add the tomatoes, we're going to use a stick of butter. I know, I told you it was tasty sauce. I didn't tell you it was healthy sauce, but it's gonna be amazing. And we heated up the pan just down low, just to melt this butter first. So that's a little bit hot. Let's turn that down. It does not need to be that hot. Low to simmer is good. As that melts, we're gonna kinda just give that a little stir. We're gonna just come over here and make sure, cause I, well, Chris helped me pre-peel all these tomatoes. That was nice of him. We're gonna just separate these out a bit because they're kinda sticking together. While that butter is melting down, and it's almost done, believe it or not, we're just gonna add these tomatoes to the pan. Okay. Generous amount. And again, that's just gonna take some time to break down because they're all frozen. Then the next thing we're gonna do is, I used unsalted butter for this sauce. You can use salted butter, just depends on how much salt you want in your sauce. So I am actually gonna add kosher salt to this. I would add a generous, generous portion of salt because this is actually a lot of tomatoes in here. And I would like to say these glacier tomatoes are a really good balance of sweet and salty, so that's why they make a really good tomato sauce. So we'll add that, put that to the side. And it's gonna take a little while because this stuff needs to, you know, break down a bit in there. All right, so while we're waiting for that to start going, I'm just gonna cut this one onion just in half. And the point of the sauce is that there's not a lot of chopping and prepping and all that stuff. It's so easy. So I'm just gonna cut it in half, take that skin right off. And I'm gonna nest that onion right in the middle there. Okay, again, just kind of taking the outer layer off of the onion. I'm gonna do one more because this one's not so great on the outside there. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna just kind of nest this onion down in here too. 
And this onion cooks down so great in the sauce and just gets a really nice onion flavor. And then I've actually taken the onion out when I'm done and made like a onion dip with it because it has such a great flavor at the end. And then our next ingredient is four cloves of garlic. I'm literally, you guys, just throwing it in with the peeling on. Maybe take some of the bulk off, but this will break down in the sauce as it simmers. So we're just going to throw those in there. Super easy peasy. Um, and then the last ingredient is just some fresh herbs or dried herbs. You can use either one. This is just some dried oregano that we had left over from the season. So I'm going to just put that in there. Put the rest of that in there. There's enough to go around. And then I have some rosemary. Again, you can add whatever herbs you want, fresh, dried, whatever. So a little rosemary, a little thyme. And you can actually just like, with this, you can just throw the whole sprig in there because when this breaks down, it's just gonna just boil and bubble in the sauce. All right. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, we're gonna come back. We're gonna let this simmer for about 45 minutes. And it's really important that you kind of leave the lid on, but let it air out of it because of the water content. So we're just gonna kind of let that simmer for 45 minutes and then we'll come back and we're gonna see what we made. Yay! Welcome back, guys. It's been about 45 minutes exactly. We're gonna look at what we made this morning. So here is our beautiful sauce. Look at that color. It is so nice and rich. Red. And those herbs and garlic have just broken down. You can see how great that looks. So with some pasta or bread, you can put on pizza if you wanted to. I did throw in, I'm just gonna let you know, just a tad bit of sugar, probably about a teaspoon of sugar, just to break down that acidity a little bit at the end. Gives it a nice, rich tomato caramelized flavor. So that's it. Our sauce is done. And then um, just so you know, today we are open. The farm's open from 12 to four. So if you do stop by, you'll be able to sample this sauce that we made just today, fresh. If you've never come to see us, take a nice drive today. Make sure you know how to find us so that when we're open and we're booming in the summer, you know where to find us. All right. See you guys later. Bye.